Welcome. Tonight, we are gonna go ahead and install this beautiful thing. Come on, there we go. Tall guard, or to guard. Uh, rear view, in front, seven inch cameras. So this guy, gonna go ahead and shift into, neut into a reverse. Can you see it? Yeah. This camera's not doing too good a job. There's the front. There's the rear when I put it in reverse. Can barely see anything though. Sorry. Camera issues. Alright, so this is already installed, but I'm gonna go back in time and show you all how to install this thing. Alright, so our install ends up. Uh, I just gotta cover this looking like this all right we went ahead and we drilled two little bolts in here gonna need a drill bit for that uh, you can install it right here on the on the license plate light just drill two little screws right there and install it on it um, or you can install it right here on the um, the little handle that uh, under the Volkswagen logo. This is on a uh, 2012 through 2018, I think it is, Jetta, or 2011 through 20, no. It's the Mark 6, I think it is, 2011 through 20, it's either 16 or 18. Uh, so, we're gonna go ahead and show you the tools we're gonna use. We need a drill, because I drilled through the, uh, through the trunk. Uh, I'll show you later. How I did that uh, in the options that you got available. Uh, toolbox, I just got a cheap five dollar uh, Harbor Freight tool. Uh, little toolbox that was that has everything we need. We're gonna need the 10 millimeter socket right here. Uh, the adapter because it's a it's a um, one eight. Uh, sorry, quarter inch uh, drive. Um, the ratchet the little three inch uh, three eighths extension and two torch bits you can use these or you can use the the ones that are just this little part um, T20 and I believe a T25 and a T30 is all you need because these three guys right here One, two three uh, all right, let's see. I was gonna use these guys um, to um, hold the camera in place, uh, but didn't seem like a good idea because of this gap right here. Uh, so I went on to use the the butterfly ones. I'll show you later on in the video. Uh, we need electrical tape. Uh, we need a. We need one of these guys. A um, circuit tester. Because we're gonna have to look for the wire that lights up whenever we put it the, the, it's the lead for the backup lights because you have to connect the camera there's a, a wire you have to connect to the backup light um, that way when you put it in reverse the camera automatically shifts to the reverse uh, view so that's really all the all the tools I think we need um, a wire cutter yeah if you have one of these little wire cutter or crimper, there's one for the for car wires, but I can't find them. But anyways, that's all we need. So to start, stick our T20 with our extension here. You don't have to use this type, but for right now, this one I'm going to use. First thing we need to do is remove this cover because this is where we're gonna um, 
this is where we have to install the wiring, the ground and the uh, wires, all these wires for the camera. Uh, in a video, I don't have what the camera came with, so this is not a complete video, but uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do about that. Uh, so this is a T20, a Torx 20. Uh, bolt which we need to take off there's gonna be two of these one here where the handles are oh. yeah try not to lose that and the other one right here I already took these out that's why they're coming out by hand put your bolts your uh, tools back where they go so we don't lose them we're gonna have a mess here in just a minute but uh, to take this off this cover which is the first thing you got to take off just pull right here it's a bunch of clips all right just pull try not to break anything because you got a bunch of clips like these they're just pressure clips let's see where they go those little holes are for the clips to put it back on because I think uh, later on in the video I don't show you how to do it just go ahead and align that with that right there and all you have to do is just give it a little just a little bit of pressure pressure right there and you'll hear them pop in all right so anyways I'm gonna take them back off Amazingly, I haven't broken anything yet. Um, so this, this little cover right here, the one that you use to open the trunk, we're gonna have to remove that too. All right, so those are gonna be 10 millimeter bolts right here, two 10 mils. And then the video will continue in a messy fashion with what we actually did. Once the plastic cover is removed, we're gonna go ahead and get back here. Let me see where are we? We're gonna get back here and remove those two screws. That should go ahead and get that handle removed. And then we will go ahead and uh, um, connect everything. Now, just so you all know, I figure out and tested that this is my backup wire. The, for me, it's the green and black, different models. I know have different setups. Uh, a couple of the videos I've seen show that this is your, your backup. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and solder that. Uh, but I'll do that last after I run all the wires and have everything set up. For the camera, I'm just gonna go ahead and take one of these lights. There's a little groove right here, and it seems that if we just shave down this little part right here, nope, right here, that we can. Uh, go ahead and fit that cable fit this back in and that cable without a problem and we may have to shave a little bit more than that but I'll I'll try it out and figure out what's best all right so what's happening now see that is in there so what we had to do was 
shave shave this little lip right here all the way down to the rubber all right just a rough shave for that oh, this guy right here a little dremel in the small uh, grinder that allows us to put the uh, cover here and we can still this that's set pretty pretty tight in there and we can still have a seal because I didn't drill through the uh, rubber but if you do just a little bit of silicon here after this is all installed it will give you a water seal and we can still we we can use as much slack as we want to put the camera and then tighten the camera right here on the side to drill if you're gonna drill into the chassis make sure you drill the right size you don't want to make a hole too big even though I would um, I don't know what size this is just make sure you measure um, you can also just discard this take the bolt out and drill right through uh, right through the light I mean you got one light here uh, I want to keep my two lights I want to make as, as little you can always buy this uh, uh, piece on eBay for next to nothing so uh, I don't you know you can damage that and then if you change your mind just replace the the, the little tab uh, the little uh, um, light cover um, if you drill through the chassis through the um, uh, trunk you know that's that's a bigger deal uh, but that's what I'm gonna do anyways All right, so we want to use one of these little pressure washers just to make sure we'll put the screws in um, on the on the opposite side on the inside we put the pressure washer and uh, you can put some silicone around it if you're concerned about you know moisture getting in there uh, but if you made the uh, the holes not too big you should be okay uh, there shouldn't be any gap here I don't see any I can't film fit my uh, fingernail through there uh, you can still put silicone on the inside if you want uh, I'm fine with uh, I'm fine with the way things are you can also uh, to put this in place we're gonna have to tighten this little screws on the outside uh, and remember if you make the, the holes too small you can always make them bigger if you make them too big you know you can't make them you can't shrink them so keep that in mind the camera came with these little screws right here uh, I didn't use them uh, I'd rather use a, a small bolt uh, a washer and a nut uh, instead of those slow screws I just don't trust them uh, you, you can also not drill and just use the, uh, the little glue uh, stickies that come with it uh, I don't know if that'll work uh, if anything I would get like a 3M double tape that's usually better but uh, uh, I'd still rather just bolt it it's my car I'm not gonna I don't care about the value oh, of it so uh, and it doesn't look too bad uh, worst case scenario you know can always put a little dab of bondo there and spray it use some of that uh, uh, the spray the, the dealer marker uh, try to match the color I mean nobody can see in there you know you'll be yeah it's it's kind of hidden okay, solder uh, you gotta heat up the material and then you can solder not just you know burn the solder and leave it in place otherwise you won't you won't come together it'll just snap off as soon as you move it now we're gonna put tape on that I'm running it through the inside right here and then I'll roll everything behind here make sure it doesn't rattle and run the cable into the car through the plastic now I just ran the cables remember to put your two nuts on this thing on now that they're on all the way 
Oh yeah, I forgot to mention to take this off. You have to uh, push that little clip. That little clip has to be pushed out so that this can go out to put it to put the uh, uh, connector back in. Just get it in, and uh, you'll hear a click. Pull it out. You just gotta put push that out with your fingernail, and it comes right out. So that part right there. Right there it needs to come out with a fingernail while you pull out at the same time to push it back in. You'll hear the click. There. You'll hear it. All right. Uh, I ran my wires through here and uh, through here, through the back into the car out here. To the car, I still gotta make this look nice and party, but for now, that'll do. We're gonna put uh, the cover here, all the clips, all right. Uh, let's just clip in now. So, have a sit, and then uh, we have clips that mount here, 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 uh, here, and here in here all right so we'll put that on clip it on we should be good clip is back on to make sure shouldn't have anything loose here anywhere around if that's all good oh, go ahead and remember the inside part of this uh Sorry, it's getting late. But of these things, that clip goes in first. And then it clips right on. And if I could find the other one, I would put it on and it's the same thing on the other side. Good gracious, there's no light here. Alright, well, that, that's the idea. I'll see if I can get some light out here. Alright, I said... That let there be light. And light there was. Alright. You can see the hole now. Right here. Clip over here. Clip goes in. Clip goes in. <laughs> this side. And clips right in. Alright. That. This is a line. Yeah. And that should be it. Now close your trunk and uh, align your your uh, your camera. If I can see it. There we go. We align our camera with those two screws. They're on the periphery. Uh, make sure it aligns inside and you should be good to go it's about 9 30 p.m. it's a little dark around here but uh, so far this is what we got this is with the car in reverse it looks it looks pretty decent uh, if I take the car out of reverse into drive this is what we get that's the front camera, can't really see anything, but the back camera, it's got a bunch of LEDs on it. It looks pretty good. Um, so, let me see with the headlights. You know, oh, well, I guess I could always arrange it. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad should be able to catch uh, traffic so I'm gonna go ahead and format that uh, SD card and uh, like I said in reverse I really like it so we'll see <laughs> 